Welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Now, these little Asus memo pads, they're called 7HDs. There is a model number, I'll find that out later. They're totally dead. Chap bought them new, they were used for about a year, and then the screen started acting up and packed up. Threw them away in a cupboard, they were sitting there for several years, and then he decided to get rid of them, so he gave them to us. And let's have a look and see what we can do. The original charger for these is a C-Type and it's 5 volt DC, 2 amp. But what I decided to do was try and give it a bit of a kickstart and I used a DC 5 volt, 3 amp and managed to get one working. So we just switch it on and there we have it. Now it is switching on, there's no damage to the screen that I can see but when you try to scroll let's switch this off, off again try to use the touchpad or the screen nothing absolutely nothing so our next step now is to open it up looking around it there's no screws so we wonder now we'll try this so now you can use a spudger or if you have good strong fingernails just pull it there where the, um, the USB-C is and you can just prise it slightly and see if you can get a fingernail in there and then work your way around and it seems to be doing something so now if you have if you don't think you have strong fingernails then try and find a spudger or maybe a little screwdriver. And there we have it. And I can see straight away there's a cable undone. Now this may have been caused from the little pad being thrown around the place, being jolted a bit. But that should not happen. Well let's put this little strip back in and we'll see what happens. The little ribbon cables won't go back into place for the simple reason is you can see these two little tabs here they're locked down so they won't allow the cable in so what we need to do then is we need to open them and the way they open is if you just get the little screwdriver in behind and pop them up towards the ribbon cable and they'll pop in. Now as a guide the ribbon cable has little white lines going across it. That's how far the cable should go in. So let's see if we can just coax it in there now. Right well one of them is trying to go, one of them is going in and one of them is not. So we'll just keep lining them and relining them until we can get them into place. So if you use your finger and just push them in gently, you can see that the, the white line is right up against the connecting block and push down the little tabs maybe I'll push use my finger and again with this one just push it down and lock it into place those white lines seem to be pretty good and the tabs are locked into place now just give it a little pull just ever so gently and it all seems to be good. Now while you have it open there's a couple of other ribbon cables you want to check out. Here's another one over here and then here's another one just over here and they all seem to be good. Right so now let's put this back together and boot it up and see what happens. Putting the back cover back on is quite simple. Just make sure that you line up the iris and just place it over 
and press down. Just work your way around, press it down until you hear no more clicks. Now you may have to go around a couple of times and there we have it. Switch it back over, press the little power button and we seem to have something. Well we had that before anyway. Yeah. Now the screen is working again. Let's have a look. We go into settings, scroll up and scroll down. That's working. About tablet. Model 1M, sorry, my mistake. Model ME173X. Press the home button, goes back to home. Another thing to remember if you do get a tablet off someone and it's not working and you do fix it, it's always a good idea to do a total factory reset. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and you can follow us on the usual social media websites.